Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I'm putting out the call right now to the guys in my audience who are engineers or mechanics or the gals. If you know a little bit about cars and how they operate, I have a question for you that I'm baffled by. I've had several people contact me, including one of my relatives and also one of my viewers, who said, Steve, I got this notice from Ford Motor Company regarding my vehicle, and I understand what they're saying, but the fix doesn't sound like it makes sense. So here's the situation, okay? Uh, two people I know have gotten this notice. Customer Satisfaction Program 19B, as in Bravo, 37. 19B, 37. Uh, regarding a 2017 Ford Escape, and the other one I think was a 2018 Escape, but I could be wrong on that. But the point is that it's regarding specific years and specific models of Ford motor vehicles. And the notice says this, at Ford Motor Company, we are committed not only to building high quality, dependable products, but also building a community of happy, satisfied customers. To demonstrate that commitment, we are providing a no charge customer satisfaction program for your vehicle with the VIN shown above. And again, Here's the deal. It's not a recall. So this is not a safety issue. It's not being mandated by the federal government. They're doing this as a matter of goodwill. Why are you receiving this notice? And they do this handy question and answer thing. Why are you receiving this notice? On your vehicle, it may be possible for coolants to intrude into the cylinder bores. A couple days ago, I did a video where I explained how the piston moves inside the cylinder bore. And at the top of that stroke, above where the piston comes, is the uh, combustion chamber, and there are valves. One valve lets the fuel and air mixture in, and then one valve lets the exhaust out after the ignition takes place, okay? And they're saying that coolant could get into there, that little area, and cause problems. So what is the effect? Coolant intrusion into the cylinder bores can lead to coolant loss because the coolant that goes in there ain't coming back. (laughs) Excessive tailpipe smoke, and that smoke will be from the coolant burning off and running out the tailpipe, or illuminated malfunction indicator lights due to engine misfire and could potentially lead to engine damage. So, so the coolant getting into the ignition process could cause the engine to misfire, which could cause the idiot light to come on saying your engine's malfunctioning. And that misfire could also possibly damage the engine, especially over time if you allow this to happen. So it says, what will Ford and your dealer do? What will Ford and your dealer do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? In the interest of customer satisfaction, Ford Motor Company has authorized your dealer to reprogram the powertrain control module with a new software calibration to improve engine cooling and reduce the potential for coolant intrusion into the cylinders. And this is free of charge, parts and labor under the terms of this program. This customer satisfaction program will be in effect until June 30th of 2021. So you got some time on this. Regardless of mileage, coverage is automatically transferred to subsequent owners. Now, I'm going to get back to that because that's the part that's confusing me. How long will it take? Less than half a day. However, due to a service scheduling requirement, your dealer may need your vehicle for a longer period of time. What should you do? Please call your dealer and give them this number. Give them your VIN. And you can also access FordOwner.com for addresses, maps, and driving instructions. And then it says that you should do this to take care of your vehicle. And if you actually paid to have this repaired, they may reimburse you. And it says, if you no longer own this vehicle, uh, please forward the letter to the new owner if you know who they are. And then it says, if we can assist you further, here's some numbers and email addresses and URLs and things of that nature. Uh, And then it's signed, Ford Customer Service Division. My question to you, my learned audience, is in the old days, if you're getting coolant in this ignition process, you'd think of a blown head gasket. You'd think of a cracked engine block. You'd think of a cracked head. You'd think of something very, very serious that's allowing the coolant to get out of its portion of the engine and into the other portions of the engine. And one of the weak links in that chain of defense, to mix a metaphor there, is the head gasket, okay? So the head gasket goes bad. That's often one of the things you see is coolant being in the wrong places and oil being in the wrong places also, possibly. So here they say, we've discovered this problem across the entire platform, okay? It appears that cars of this year and this model, presumably with this engine, could all have this problem, could all have this problem. So we're going to fix it by re 
programming your powertrain control module. Now, if there's something in the engine that inherently can fail and cause coolant to get into the cylinder bores, how would reprogramming the power control module do that? Now, I've discussed this with a couple people, and I'll admit that this is a kind of discussion that is no more sophisticated than a couple guys sitting around at a bar spitballing, as they say. Although it wasn't in a bar, it was over the phone. And I had several people, and I, the only thing I could think of is, I said, well, could we detune the engine a little bit? In other words, make it so the engine puts out a little less power. And somehow, by not overtaxing the engine, make it less prone to do this. And that's the only thing we could think of, is that if the engine has an optimal, optimal performance curve and it can put out so many horsepower, if it's more likely going to do this problem with the coolant leak, because that's basically what it is, it's just leaking internally. If it's going to have a problem with the coolant leak, maybe it's more prone to doing that at higher portions of the power curve. And maybe if we dial that down and in essence make the car less powerful, like the engine less powerful, maybe that will somehow make this less likely to happen. Is that it? Because if that is it, that still means that, okay, we solved this problem, but we just made (laughs) the engine in your car less powerful. I mean, you might not notice if it's just one or two horsepower. Would you really notice that? But I don't know if that's it. I mean, is that it? Or is there something else going on here? Because I don't know off the top of my head what the powertrain control module on this particular engine does. Like, does it control other functions? Because what other functions could it control that would keep something like that from happening? Because it sounds to me like this is not a computer programming issue. It sounds like a mechanical issue. And again, I know there are computers and sensors and things electronic in your car, in your engine bay, in in, in your dashboard, in your infotainment center. They're all tied together and the internet of the world and stuff. And and all of this stuff is happening. I understand all that. But underneath it all, there still is an engine. There is an engine block. There are pistons inside of cylinder bores. There are valves. There are there, there are heads, there are intakes and exhausts. There are all those mechanical things in there. They might be controlled by, overseen by, guarded by, watched by, observed by, innocent bystander by, sensors and computers, but still there is a cylinder head and a cylinder block and some valves and pistons and a spark plug, and ignition, and exhaust, okay? How is reprogramming the powertrain control module going to make that tendency for a coolant leak to be any less? Unless, like I said, it's simply dialing down the output of the engine. And if that's the case, I suppose it's a fix, but it doesn't sound like a good one. Because wouldn't the real problem probably be something with the gaskets or something with the fitment of the things <laughs> that are up there that are supposed to keep the coolant on the coolant side and the oil on the oil side, just like a McLean Deluxe, keep the hot side hot, the cold side cold? <laughs> Doesn't make me old. It just means I remember a very, very specific time of McDonald's history. So that's the question I have for you. If you know the answer, please put this below because I'm fascinated and perplexed. Again, the Customer Satisfaction Program 19B37 with respect to 2017 Ford Escapes and I think at least one other vehicle. I could be wrong on that, but the point is how would reprogramming the powertrain control module solve a problem with a coolant leak? That's my question to you. And I hope you've got questions and I hope you've got comments and I hope you put them below because I want to know the answer to that question. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. The best luck of all is the luck you make for yourself.